Hi, this is a demonstration of IoT theft detection system using Raspberry Pi. So, this is a enhanced theft detection system that uses image processing instead of any sensors to detect theft and also it uh, highlights the area or the portion where the theft or the motion is happening. So this is uh, based on motion sensing using image processing and as you can see here is the circuitry. We here have a circuit which consists of a camera which is interfaced to the Raspberry Pi and this is also interfaced to an LCD display for displaying the status of the system. Also we have some IR lights here to use in you know bad lighting conditions or dark lighting conditions for better image processing in night vision and also we have a LDR sensor as you can see here to detect if the conditions are dark or the environment is dark and the system is powered by a 12 volt power supply and for the IoT part we will be using IoT Gecko online platform for development so now let's uh, turn on the system to check it's working So the system is turning on now. So now let's do one thing. Let's also log in into our online account of IoT Gecko. So this is the we should go to the login page. So if you don't have a login ID, you can just register here. It's free. But we already have a account, so we'll just log in. So we are into the system. Now let's go to the image mounting dashboard and it is uh, sending us uh, the raw feed. So the system has been turned on now. So you know as long as there is no motion detected in front of the camera it will uh, keep sending the it will uh, so as long as uh, no motion is detected, it will be in monitoring and it will not uh, send any images. So this is the last image that was uh, recorded on the system. So that image is showing here. And, as f and when a motion is detected, the system grows a red LED on the circuit board and it uh, sends updated images of the theft of motion happening with the exact location of the motion happening uh, in the image and as well as the video is recorded and stored on the pen drive which is uh, mounted on the Raspberry Pi. So now let's uh, do one thing, let's uh, simulate uh, a motion in front of the camera. So as you can see the red light has been turned on and now we have to wait for the next uh, image sent by it and as you can see it is sending the images the updated images of what is happening there and as you can see it is also highlighting the motion part so now we can see the motion uh, occurring and the images that were captured by the system when the motion occurred. So now let's uh, simulate one more image here. So as you can see since motion is continuously happening in front of it or it uh, highlighted the motion and the exact uh, coordinates of where the motion occurred in the image. So once we remove it, it will uh, keep displaying the last occurrence of motion on the system 
and as long as there is no more uh, motion it won't uh, be activated and it will save a lot of storage space based on that so this is how the project works thank you